Welcome to the fourth annual Colombian flag raising event here in the city of Holyoke to celebrate Colombian Independence Day. We started this event uh, four years ago, back in July of 2015. Uh, before we begin, I want to thank a, a few people who are joining us this afternoon. Uh, we have uh, State Representative Aaron Vega with us this afternoon. Thank you, Aaron, for being here. We have Ward 4 City Councilor Josie Valentin here. Thank you, Josie. We have Ward 1 City Councilor Gladys LeBron Martinez with us. Thank you, Gladys. We have Ward 2 City Councilor Nelson Roman joining us. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, we have representatives from the Holyoke Police Department and, and thank them uh, for being here. I also want to thank Milko Ortiz and Andres Vijala from my office, uh, the mayor's office, for helping put this event uh, together. And I also want to thank Miss Latina Western Massachusetts for being here uh, and representing her community proudly uh, in the city of Holyoke. Congratulations on, on your uh, title. Um, I'll be back uh, a little bit later, but I want to hand the program over to both Andres Vijada and Stephanie Garcia. And I want to thank Stephanie for helping uh, start this event back in 2015. And uh, I'll invite Andres and Stephanie to come up and uh, bring us through the rest of the program. Help me welcome Stephanie Garcia. Um, welcome to the city of Holyoke. Bienvenidos a la ciudad de Holyoke. Uh, este es el cuarto año. This is the fourth year we've been doing this. Um, every year I learn something new from my research on how Colombians got to Holyoke. And I, the, the earliest year that I've come across so far is 1969. And from what I have heard previous years, people had come because they were recruited to come and work in the factories here. But the piece that I learned this year was that they were also recruited because during that time the Vietnam War was happening here. So the skilled workers were sent out to fight. So then they went to Colombia and recruited some workers. So we're basically here to honor the Colombian history and to pass that down to our kids. That's my goal. Um, I was raised in Colombia, but my kids were born here. So I want to make sure they have those Colombian roots with them. Uh, and another one, another part of this is uh, my brother, as you know, is Daniel Escobar. He loved his culture, so we created a uh, foundation in his name, the Daniel Escobar Foundation, and that's actually what helped us this year fund the band that we have in Heritage Park. Um, they're going to be playing some Colombian music, cumbia, and salsa for you guys from 6 to 8. So you guys are welcome to go there. Um, again, the Colombian culture, we are people who are very resilient. We don't quit. We work hard and we value family, culture, and most of all, um, joy and happiness. So we're here to celebrate. And with that, I'm gonna introduce my cousin, who's my right hand with this, and he's gonna introduce our little mini Miss Latina Western Mass. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, happy Independence Day, Feliz Día de la Independencia. Uh, before I introduce uh, Miss Latina Western Mass, I just wanna say, 20 years ago, I came to this country uh, at eight years old, and I am fighting, and I want to keep fighting to make sure that those kids that come when they're eight, when they're smaller, they have the same opportunities as I do. So we must be vigilant, we must be looking out to, to see where injustice is there and hold those people accountable. Okay, so uh, without further ado, uh, Miss Latina Western Mass. So this is Miss Latina Western Mass. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna talk about her dress in Spanish. <laughs> Los estampados en la falda son muy importante en sus acuerdos folclóricos, dándoles el toque alegre y festivo que acompañan a la música de Colombia como el vallenato, la cumbia y el napalé. En su las pajas alrededor de la falda y camisa distinguen los colores de Colombia que son el amarillo que representa la riqueza del suelo colombiano, así como el sol, fuente de luz y la soberanía, la armonía y la justicia. Azul representa el cielo que cubre la patria, los ríos y los dos océanos que bañan el territorio colombiano. El rojo representa la sangre vertida por los patriotas en los campos de batalla para conseguir la libertad, la que significa amor, poder, fuerza y progreso. So, uh, quickly, the, 
the colors that she's wearing is yellow, blue, and red. The yellow uh, represents the richness of Colombia, as well as the sun, the source of light and sovereignty, harmony, and justice. Blue represents the sky that covers the homeland, the rivers, and the two oceans of bathe the Colombian territory. And red represents the blood poured by the patriots on the battlefields to achieve uh, freedom, which means love, power, and strength. Uh, y antes de, de, de volver el micrófono al alcalde, también quería repetir lo que dije en inglés, en español, de que yo cuando tenía ocho años vine a este país y vine sin aprender nada, no sabía nada de inglés, y vine, y fui a la escuela, me pude graduar, y ahora estoy aquí trabajando en la alcaldía, y yo quiero que esos niños que vuelvan y que vienen aquí para una oportunidad mejor, tengan los mismos privilegios que nosotros, que hemos llegado aquí a trabajar duro y mantener a la familia de nosotros. Entonces hay que ser vigilantes, hay que tener a las personas que están encargadas en, el, en la política, ser vigilantes con ellos y saber cómo votar. Uh, y, uh, ok, ahora le presento el tal. Yep. Every year we honor uh, folks from the Colombian community here in Holyoke, and we're doing that this afternoon as well. And uh, first, we want to help uh, recognize uh, Jorge Monsalve. If Jorge would come up. Jorge Monsalve arrived to the United States from Colombia at the age of eight. After high school, he joined the National Guard where he served for eight years. He has been a member of the Holyoke Police Department for the last 17 years. Jorge started his career as a volunteer auxiliary police officer here in Holyoke. He was hired as a civilian dispatcher and then a reserve officer, and he was hired as a full-time police officer in Holyoke in 2002. He worked on patrol for 10 years in three different ships. In 2012, he was assigned to the de as a detective and in 2014, I promoted him to sergeant and patrol supervisor. We are thankful for his service and dedication to the city of Holyoke. And on behalf of all of us and the citizens of the city of Holyoke, I, Mayor Alex Morse, do hereby congratulate Jorge Monsalve for being honored during the Colombian Independence Day celebration in Holyoke as a productive and successful member of our community. Help me congratulate Jorge Monsalve. Jorge doesn't want to say anything. Jorge no quiere hablar. Next. And uh, this is important in that I think this year's flag raising ceremony is dedicated in honor and memory of former officer Daniel Escobar. Uh, Stephanie mentioned that her brother was uh, Danny Escobar who worked for our uh, police department and was a beloved member of our community for uh, many years. Uh, Danny was 38, he immigrated to Holyoke with his family at the age of nine, and he attended the Holyoke Public Schools. Danny graduated from Holyoke High School, and immediately after, he joined the U.S. Army and served four years. After his service, he worked at the Hampton County Sheriff's Department as a correctional officer while studying at Holyoke Community College, where he later achieved an associate's degree. In 2004, Danny Escobar joined the Holyoke Police Department as a full-time officer, and he was promoted to detective in 2016. Beyond his dedicated professional career in the Holyoke Police Department, Danny was particularly passionate about his Colombian culture and music. He greatly enjoyed celebrating with his friends and family any moment he could get. It was his way of spreading joy to those around him. I also have a proclamation for uh, Danny Escobar, and I think it'll be accepted by his father, uh, Henry, who is here with us uh, this evening. On behalf of the citizens of Holyoke, we present this proclamation in honor and memory of Daniel Danny Escobar, who is being honored posthumously during this, this Colombian Independence Day celebration as a productive and powerful and successful member of our community. Congratulations to Danny Escobar. Because Danny enjoyed spreading joy through music and dance, uh, we will now introduce children uh, from Holyoke that would like to share their culture with all of us uh, by dancing themselves. So help me introduce this group that are dancing to La Pollera Colora. Thank you. 
Okay, so next up is the flag raising. Can we, I have all the children come up here and help me raise the flag? They were supposed to learn it. I posted it on Facebook. Yeah, so they just need to pull the thing. Okay, come here, guys. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> Give me directions. Lo que aprendí es que muchos de ustedes se les olvidan el himno. Y a los niños tenemos que Y a los niños tenemos que enseñarse. Bueno, ahora muchas gracias por venir. Uh, quería dar gracias a nuestros sponsors para. Hello. So, quería darle the sponsor, um, the one Holyoke, right? I said one Holyoke, I gotta say all Holyoke, okay. <laughs> um, they're our physical agent from the nonprofit organization that we have, the Holyoke, the Daniel, Daniel Escobar Foundation. Um, uh, Alex, he also uh, donated so we could play the band that we're gonna go dance to. Um, City Sports Bars, they made our beautiful flyer. I think that's how most of you got the information. But remember, the events like this only happen with your support. Uh, we have the Colombian parties, and that's one way that we're raising money. So when you go on Facebook, look those up. We always have one for Halloween, one for Christmas, and for Valentine's. And that's what we use to raise money to pay for the, like, this time for the band. Uh, and Nueva Esperanza also gave us a nice um, donation to pay the musicians, because they don't, you know, they, they, do, they do a beautiful job with their work. So I hope you enjoy that. We're gonna be at Heritage Park from six to eight, enjoying some salsa, some cumbia, and there's also gonna be some food there. Thank you guys for coming, and thank you for keeping our culture alive.